Anyway, so here's another test drive with the new autopilot driving through town a little bit this time. I've noticed that the autopilot 2, even with the new update, doesn't stop quite as smoothly as autopilot 1 does. It's about the only thing that autopilot do 1 does better now. Autopilot 2 definitely steers better and recognizes the road better than Autopilot 1. But Autopilot 1 is still very smooth at starting and stopping. And Autopilot 2 is still a little jerky. Slow to keep going. Slowed down for that car passing in front of me even though it wasn't anywhere close to me. No swerve at the top of that hill that Autopilot 2 and 1 both have always swerved at, the t at that hill. coming through town which has really lousy roads, lousy lines, so neither autopilot has done this road before very well. Let's see how it does. It's slowing down way too much even though there's no, I kind of had to take over because he wanted to stop behind that guy. But the lines come right back up when I'm ready to let it start driving. here are fine. It's certainly recognizing where the road is and what it should be doing. No problem. A real difficult spot up here. It'll be interesting to see if it can manage to do the road. It should be nice to have a car in front of me because hopefully Autopilot will just follow him around the corner. Autopilot is definitely a little slow to get going, but it is at least following through town right there. Uh, a little close to that car to the side, but didn't run into it. Going through the intersection just fine, no swerving. Normally it would swerve wildly at the top of this little hill, and it did not swerve at all, which is nice. And normally it would run over the lines on this curve. Let's see. Nope, did the curve exactly perfect. So definitely no problems in the steering anymore. Autopilot 2 is absolutely perfect as far as I can tell with, with steering. Won't change lanes in town, which is obnoxious because Autopilot 1 changes lanes there just fine. Now here's a little red light that Autopilot 2 won't stop back. So I finally picked up lines. See, it, it 
stops real jerkily behind this guy. It's not a smooth stop like Autopilot 1 does. It actually uses the brake to stop. I can hear the brake pedal being, uh, being manipulated, whereas Autopilot 1, I think, just slows down with the battery. So picked up the lines really quick, which Autopilot has always had a hard time for some reason seeing these lines because there's no right-sided line, it's just a curb over there. See, it seems, ah, the car has really slowed down hard for no good reason. I mean, that car wasn't anywhere close to me, and yet it threw on the brakes and st tried to stop, you know, 40 feet behind him. stop light that it or stop sign that it doesn't see but it definitely picks up the lines really quick which is wonderful more enjoyable to let it drive now since it's you're more confident that it's not going to run into the curb or run head on into a car the way it used to swerve wildly at any time Very stable between the two lines. Here you can see the lines real well, so it's easy to drive. Not so good lines up here, but it's still doing fine. went into the rocks there but didn't. Here's another spot that it often goes and tries to hit a mailbox. Oh, real nice sharp turn there. Did not hit the mailbox today. Almost tried to swerve at the top of that hill but did not swerve. So all these hills that it used to swerve on, it's no longer swerving on. So the car just backed out of a driveway. My car hasn't detected it yet. Now he's stopping. Oh, he's turning. Oh, what's my car going to do? Oh, slowed down a little, didn't hit him. Didn't actually slow down all that bad, though, which was interesting. to always make the car swerve. No swerve. 
Blackwater Ravine at all. Very stable. Coming up on a turn that the car would always swerve off. It couldn't handle the sharp right turn that's coming up. We'll see how it does. And the new update. The car did not slow down at all. Now, after the turn, it slowed down to 37. It took the turn fine, though. So it didn't slow down coming into the turn, it slowed down after it realized it was almost to go up over the double lines, but it did not go over the double lines. So it did fine. I wish it would slow down before the turn. Like some people say their car slow downs into the turn, I haven't seen mine slow down into any turn yet. It seems to try to take the turn on two wheels and then it decides to start slowing down but at least it is actually staying between the lines all the way around the corner, which is much better than it used to. Another real sharp turn that it didn't used to be able to take very well. It just did it as if there was nothing going on. But this hard stop again, it's throwing on the brakes. I don't like it to throw the brakes on. Another real sharp turn that it usually can't take. So let's see how it does this time. Absolutely no troubles. It's as if a person was driving. There's no reason the car ever should have been swerving there before, and now it doesn't. This little section has lousy lines and several little humps that usually the car would swerve horribly. Of course, now it's not swerving at all anymore. Staying right down the middle of the road like it should. So yeah, this definitely, there is no swerving on hills anymore. They have absolutely fixed it, regardless of what anybody else tries to say. They haven't fixed the braking and the accelerating part. That is not perfect. But the, the swerving at the top of hills and the staying in between the lines is way better than Autopilot 1 now.